Hey guys, welcome to my kitchen. In this video, we're gonna be making a fresh basil pesto. And instead of using pine nuts in the recipe, I'm gonna substitute walnuts. Walnuts can be a little bit easier to find. They sell them in just about every grocery store. They can also be a little bit less expensive than pine nuts, probably because they're easier to find. And they're an excellent vegetarian vegan source of omega-3 fatty acids. So excellent for our health, great for brain health. So we're gonna use walnuts in today's recipe. So to make a basil pesto, let's look at our ingredients. Now, I'm gonna post the recipe below. You can pause the video if you wanna make this along with me, grab the recipe, and, and then meet me back here when you're ready. And just so you know, I'm making a double batch. So the recipe below calls for two cups of basil. I've got four cups. And I've doubled everything else because I'm gonna make a little extra and freeze it. So today's ingredients, four cups of basil, fresh basil came out of my garden. I've got a half a cup of Parmesan cheese. That's optional if you don't eat dairy, you do not have to add that ingredient. You could use nutritional yeast instead, a really excellent substitute for Parmesan cheese. I've got a quarter cup of olive oil, but I'm gonna need a total of a half cup. We're doing an entire cup of the walnuts instead of pine nuts. I've got four tablespoons of fresh squeezed lemon juice, two cloves of garlic instead of one because I'm doubling. I've got a half a teaspoon of sea salt and we're gonna be adding a little bit of fresh ground pepper here. So the very first step is going to be to combine our walnuts, our lemon juice, our garlic, salt, and pepper. And we're gonna pulse that. I'm using the food processor attachment of my Vitamix. This thing is priceless. Um, if you have a Vitamix, you should buy this piece to go on as your base. But any food processor is gonna be great to do this in. And technically, if you didn't have a food processor, you could do this in your blender. So don't let the equipment hold you back. So let's add the nuts, one cup, the salt, our lemon juice, and then I'm just gonna give these garlics a little chop, a rough chop. Um, sometimes I do that just to make sure that it gets uh, well spread out inside the batch, the pulsing batch. And then we'll just do a tap or two of the pepper. Okay, we put the lid on and we're just gonna pulse this. pulses and you can see that it's already pretty well pulverized now we add in the basil leaves and we're gonna do the exact same thing we're just gonna pulse lots and lots of basil I'm gonna push it down in there okay, okay here we go great and then so once we've done that, we're gonna drizzle in the olive oil, but I wanna scrape down the sides first to make sure that everything gets in there. So I'm just pushing this down with my little scraper. It's already looking great. So in this blender, I've got the option to pour liquid in through the top hole here, so that's what I'm gonna do with the olive oil. So I'm gonna go ahead and drizzle this in. And then I need another quarter cup. You can add a little bit more oil if you want your pesto to be creamier. So now that the oil's added in, I'm gonna blend this until it's nice and creamy. And then at the very end, we'll add in the Parmesan or nutritional yeast. So easy, looking great. And then our final ingredient to add in is the Parmesan cheese. And again, if you do not eat dairy, you can use nutritional yeast as a sub for this, or you could do nothing. You could do more walnuts. So this is gonna give it a nice cheesy flavor that is standard with pesto. Lid back on, and this time, So I just let that blend for about maybe 90 seconds, a little bit longer than a minute. And 
let's see how it came out. Whoops. Oh yeah, this is lovely. Nice and creamy. It looks delicious. Let's taste it. Mmm. The lemon juice. It's delicious. I hope your basil pesto comes out delicious. And like this video, if you make the recipe, let me know how it turns out. Follow me for more recipes and videos like this. And may you be vibrant.